can we? Good morning. This is Dave Buston. <laughs> Please like my videos. <laughs> I need my pennies. I like all these videos. Don't you get money? Even the regular ones. No, not yet. Is it like a dollar for a Probably. Okay. Today, it's, this is 8.4, day one in the book. Um, we're going to start with these notes, and then we're going to go back to your spiral notes for practice. Uh, this, this lesson has traditionally been uh, an algebra teacher's nightmare. This is not an easy test. This used to be really difficult to teach. I, I remember as, as a student, this was really difficult. This was really hard. I, uh, up to about two years ago, I would only assign five problems for this assignment because it was very very hard. However, I've done some research and figured another way to teach this, and it's much easier, and you can do this in your head. Perfect. Kind of. We get 10 problems. Right. And you get a lot more. Oh, we get 10? Yeah. You win. No, I say okay. Right. Now, this is, uh, ask any student in Algebra 1 or any math student, they will tell you that this is not easy. If your parents or if you're whatever are taking college math course, courses, I need you to show them how to do this because there are a lot of students that don't know, don't still know how to factor this uh, factor it this way. It's really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it today. Here we go. This only works for three terms, x squared terms, and everything is factored out. Always check before to make sure your equation is in power order with the largest power first. Combine all your negative uh, your like terms if you need to. Factor out a negative one if you have to, and then take out the GCF. So here, my first example, I have 3x squared minus 2x minus 8. And I've, uh, and this is a mnemonic for it. My father drives a red Mustang convertible. No, he actually drives a black Camry um, Avalon. The gold package. Asian style. Okay. Here we go. So, very simple. This is very easy. The difference between yesterday's and today's lesson is that you have an there's an a in front. There's a number in front. It's not the not the easiest to do. Okay. Back in the day when I was a student, I, I remember the teacher had us. She would tell us to factor out three and factor out eight, and we had to guess and check and foil every single option that we had until we had the right one. So we could have foiled for like ten times and not get the right one until the number eleven. Not anymore. Here we go. Really easy. You ready? Step one. Step one. Seth, read number one, please. Okay, that is your standard form. Okay, standard form. A, B, and C. The goal here is to get rid of the A so that you're able to factor it in your head. Step two. Emily. Okay, multiply a times c in this problem. A times c. A is three. No, just coefficient three times negative eight, which is negative twenty-four. Bear with me; it will make sense. Step three. Read it, Philip. Okay, so what's happening now is I drop the A for now. I take that 3 away for now. I bring down X squared. I bring down 2X. What's my new C? Negative 24. Now, isn't that problem much easier to deal with? Yes. Much easier because you can do this in your head. So I'll need factors of negative 24 that add it to negative 2. Do this in your head. Go. Negative six, four. negative six, positive four. Negative six, positive four. Questions on how we got negative six and positive four. Leslie, please read number four. <laughs> what was the original A? Three. three. Bring back three. Bring back the three. Bring back the three here.
Sergio, number five, please. Oh, sorry, I need to fix that. If, if does not reduce neatly, sorry. Leave it alone for now, okay? So can I reduce this fraction? Yeah, it becomes x minus 2. Because I can't uh, reduce 4 thirds neatly, I'll leave it alone. Number 6. Number 6. Ethan. Okay. Is there any denominators left in 2? No, leave it alone. What do I have left to move? I mean, this 3 in front of x. Then I should have 3x plus 4. There my, there's my equation. Check by foil. Just do a mental foil. 3x squared, 4x insides, minus 6x outsides, minus 8. It combines in the middle to be negative 2. That's my answer. Point of what? What does it give you? Say it's just an answer. Yeah, this is the original problem. This is the problem. That was the answer. So if you were to foil this like a long time ago, you would take these two, right, and foil it to get this. Now we have this to get this. It's just like multiplying and dividing. You can multiply and divide. It's going backwards and forwards. You can add, subtract. You you can Foil, you can factor. What's the difference between 8.3? 8.3 yesterday's lesson did not have a number in front. It did not have a number in front. So like this right here would have been yesterday's lesson. So we're making yesterday's lesson a part of our lesson today because it's e it will make it a lot easier in front. Yes? So like every easy thing in algebra, like the next step up is just adding more hard stuff to it. If I don't plan my lessons out accordingly, then you guys have no idea what I'm doing, and I don't know what I'm doing, right? So it's my responsibility and my kind of my moral obligation to make sure that I teach it correctly, right? Because I can sit here and be lazy. I can like teach it to yourself. I do not do that. Trust me, it's gonna happen. All right. Try this in your uh, in your notebook, please. You'll see. Okay. Now, using that as a guide, please factor the following numbers: three x squared minus two x minus eight. This is section eight point four. We're factoring a x squared plus b x plus c. Oh. Oh yeah, we did. Just kidding. Sorry, YouTube. Oh, sorry, class. 4x squared plus 8x minus 5. There you go. Now, 4x squared plus 8x minus 5, there are three terms. It's in parallel order. There are no GCFs. 4, 5, and 8 have nothing in common. So you're going to take A times C, drop the A, bring out a new C, factor, bring back the A, reduce. Move. Answer. Well, you rush. Stop rushing. Please. Yes. Reduce. Reduce the answer to so. Is a 20 out of 8? Negative 20. Is this right?
but it was negative 20 out of 2. Nope. Reduce. Oh, no, right away. Okay, this is new, so it's going to be a little tricky, okay? It's okay. Uh, A times C. Four times. Negative 5 is negative 20. Okay. A times C. Drop the A. Rewrite it, please. X squared plus, bring plus minus 20. What factors a negative 20 added to positive 8? Right. 10, x minus, no, x plus 10, x minus 2. Bring back the 4. The 4 was the original A. Bring it back here. Bring that back here. If you got 4x plus 10, you did it wrong because you never reduced it. Reduce, or reduce it first. It would be x plus 5 halves and x minus 1 half. Any questions on how I got 5 over 2, 2 over 4? Not all, not all the time. Sometimes you have one fraction and sometimes you have no fractions. Move. Move. Final answer. 2x plus 5. 2x minus 1. Check by FOIL, x, 2 times 2 is 4x squared, minus 2x plus 10x minus 5. Combine like terms, it gives you 8 in the middle. That is my answer. That used to take me, uh, 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 would take a student about 5 minutes back in the day. What about this day? You don't want me teaching you that way. It's annoying. Teach them. If it takes a student 5 minutes back in the day, what about this day? Like, no, like 1 minute. Okay, any questions on this part? We gotta practice. I need you to practice here. Practice perfect practice makes perfect. Not pra practice. Makes no, perfect practice makes perfect. Good practice. You can't Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. It exists. Perfect practice makes perfect. Make it perfect and you don't make it work. That's what you practice. Like your mistake perfect No, work. Perfect practice makes perfect. 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. Do we have to label all of them? It's up to you. 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. Do I have three terms? Yes, you do. Do I have any GCFs? No, no. you do not. Nope. I have x squared, that's okay. So do your thing, please. A times C, drop A, bring down the new C, factor it out, <laughs> bring back the A, reduce, move, answer, foil. Why do you do that? No, we don't. Ready? All right. What's A times C? Okay. A times C is 24. So A times C is 24. No. Do 2 times 4. No, sorry. I'll try to fix that one. 2 times 12 is 24. Drop the A. So X squared plus 11X plus 24. And then what factors 24 added to 11? Not 4 and 6. 8 and 3. Bring back the original A, which is 2. Reduce. Now, if you want to move, move within, that's fine. Oops, 2x plus 3. So I can foil that. 2x squared plus 3x plus 
uh, 8x minus, nope, plus 12, and it combines right here, it works. Uh, you can do this in your head. Well, does it matter what order? No, it does not. It does not matter the order because you're going to be uh, multiplying it out anyways. Thank you. Because it can be. Thank you. All right. Now, what happens if I throw in a negative A? Not really. A little bit. Factor out negative 1. Okay. Example, negative 2x squared minus 15x minus 7. The A is negative, which does make a difference. Huh? Take out a negative 1 and leave it out throughout the problem. Take it out, leave it out throughout the problem. You're just going to carry it down to the answer. You're carrying it all the way down to the answer. Okay? So if I take out a negative 1, what do I have left? All the signs are opposite. Right? Yeah, opposite signs. This is much easier to deal with than a negative. Take out a negative. It's easier to work with without everything, everything being negative here. So take out a negative 1. Do I have three terms? Do I have any GCFs? No. No. Then I need to factor it out. A times C. Go and work it out, please. We're almost done. Yes, please. Let's go, SJ. Yes, make sure negatives on the outside. Bring back the bring back the A. Where are your notes? Bring back the A. Bring back the A. Okay. You leave it in the answer in the very beginning. I'll show you. A times C, two times seven, which is fourteen, right? So you should have negative one x squared plus plus fourteen. Leave the negative one outside. Leave it throughout the answer. Factors of fourteen that added to fifteen. X minus no. X plus fourteen. X plus one. One times fourteen is fourteen. One plus fourteen is fifteen. Any questions on how I got fourteen and fifteen? Or fourteen and one? Two plus seven is nine. I need fifteen in the middle. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then you bring back the original A. In this case, use this two. Use two. Use two. Use this two. Reduce, please, and move. X plus 7, move it, 2X plus 1. No, you can leave it out. I'd rather you leave it out, um, but two other possible answers could be negative X minus 7, 2X plus 1, or negative 2X minus 1, X plus 7. Yes. Mm -hmm. You could, but I, I would rather you leave it out. Just two more. I want to make sure we get we practice this correctly. Don't complain, please. Complain somewhere else. Negative three x squared minus x plus two. Three factors only. X squared. Yes. 
Negative three x squared minus x plus two w again. It's a whole ball. Listen to me. Keep pushing it back. Hello, physics. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Third, negative three x squared minus x plus two. Make sure you take up all the GCS. There are three terms. X squared is the leading, per, the leading term. Take out a negative one. Move the negative one from the problem. Oh, hi. Let's take out a negative one. I'll start with the top part here. I'll have leftovers. 3x squared plus x minus 2, correct? Hello? Yep. What's a times c? Negative 6. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Okay, what's my new term? Or uh, new equation? x squared plus x minus. Right. Well, factors of negative 6 add up to positive 1. Positive 3. Negative 2. Bring back the A, the positive A. Reduce your fractions. Reduce and, your, reduce and move your fractions. This is for oh, our friend. Thank you. Bye. And then what do you get when you reduce? Special. 3x minus 2. Ba-boom. Negative 3x plus 2. x plus 1 is good. Or negative x minus 1. 3x plus minus 2. It's okay. But just make sure you're careful with it. Okay. okay. Questions, comments, concerns, points of clarification. What was the last answer? Points of clarification. Can you clarify? Oh, yeah. Okay, kids. Is that still recording? Uh, no. Yes. This is day one, practice A. Um, let's do on this page, let's do evens. Don't copy your friends, please. On a separate sheet of paper, let's do number two together. And the bell's going to ring in about two minutes. <coughs> Lucky you. Number two. 4x squared plus 16x plus 15. This is number two. Even on a separate paper. Do we have any GCFs to take out? A 4, 16, and 15. Do I have three terms? Do I have x squared in the first term? Then I can factor. Let's go. A times C. 4 times 15 is 60. What well, factors of 60 add up to... Sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me rewrite it. Skipping one step here. Rewrite this as x squared plus 16x plus 60, right? Yes, sir. Now, what well, factors of 60 add up to 16? 10 and 6. Easy. Can be done in your head. X plus 10, X plus 6. And then bring back the original 4, right? The original A. Answer is not X 
4x plus 10, it is not. You have to reduce it first. Reduce, 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 reduce. By 2. 5 halves and 3 halves. Are we good here? Yeah. Should make sense. And then last step. Move it over. 2x plus and 3. Answer. I'm going to check it really fast. That will be 4x squared. That will be 6x. That will be 10x. That will be 15. It does add to 16. And it has 15 to the end. That is my answer. For all of the people, I use the